The Deer Farming Channel is brought to you by Rafter P Construction. Stick around to learn more about Rafter P's design build process and of course, the biggest deer in the world. Today, Deer and Wildlife Stories travels to Oklahoma and we'll be visiting three different deer farms and you'll see why Oklahoma is considered to be one of the best states in the country for deer farming. The white-tailed deer is America's favorite big game animal. And white-tailed deer farming is the fastest growing segment in the agriculture industry. Our program's mission is to dive into the world of deer farming and inform you of how deer farmers all over the country are now using rapidly developing science-based research on their captive deer herds to solve the chronic wasting disease issue through selective breeding. Not only is this new science working, but it's obvious that captive deer breeding is the only way to help save America's deer herds from CWD, which will help improve overall herd health and at the same time can produce more quality trophy sized animals for the general public. Join me as we discover how whitetail genetics, deer auctions, animal husbandry, and so much more drive the modern day deer farming industry. My name is Keith Warren, and this is Deer and Wildlife Stories. Howdy, my name is Sean Horton. Welcome to Freedom Whitetails, just outside of Bristow, Oklahoma. All right, so at Freedom Whitetails, uh, Sean winds up, he has a partner, and it's Chris Ozell. Anybody in the deer industry knows who Chris is, okay? And so Chris is here to tell you about this particular farm. On the show today, we're going to be with Chris, and uh, we're going to go to his farm, and we're going to also go to his son's farm. But we're going to start out here at Freedom Whitetails. So tell everybody how big the place is, how many pens it has, and how many deer there are. So here on Freedom Whitetails, uh, this is a CWD certified farm here in Oklahoma. It's a small place. The total acreage is about seven acres under fence. Uh, we've got it broken into nine pens at this time. Uh, has alleyways all the way around it and a working facility. We run a 20 doe operation here, so 18 to 22 does a year. This is one of those farms that we don't bring any animals in. So we can't sell a whole lot of animals off this farm just because of the amount that we raise. So we raise a super high end uh, genetics here so that they're kind of breeder quality animals and they mainly go to breeders. For years and years, when I first started in the business, I was asking everybody, what's the one piece of advice that you would give a deer breeder? And they always said the same thing, quality over quantity. Do you agree with that? Absolutely. And so the quality is right here at Freedom Whitetails. And so these deer here, I mean, they're really gentle. Okay, these these does and the fawns are really gentle. And uh, how did you produce these deer? Was it primarily through AI? So yeah, this farm, we started this farm about four years ago with uh, my original stock that was the Cougar Ridge Foundation stock that I've had for you know over a decade. And we kind of brought our, our best animals here to start this process. And then every year we just AI every female to the top deer in the industry for whatever reason we're breeding for um, and just try to increase our genetics that way. And so let's talk about your bucks. Tell everybody about the bucks. So um, bucks here on this place, we have a, a blackjack sun that we covered with last year here. And then we've got a pen full of yearlings that have really super good pedigrees. Uh, several of them will be sold off as breeders and we'll probably keep whichever one we decide to keep to cover things here. But we still will continue to AI everything every year. The thing I wanna point out is that this is a, a small farm, but Oklahoma is one of the best states in the country to have a deer farm is because of the lack of regulations like Texas has. I mean, Texas, people are just over-regulated like crazy by the Parks and Wildlife Department, but in Oklahoma, y'all have got the freedom, <laughs> no pun intended, freedom whitetails, the freedom to be able to make decisions on these animals and, and, and it's working for y'all, right? Absolutely, and that's kind of one of the reasons we named this farm uh, Freedom Whitetails was because it was gonna be a farm that we can sell to any state in the United States um, just because we're a great state here and we do have good rules and regulations and our agencies work really well with us. Uh, we're able to do different programs here, like we have a CWD certified farm, and then we also have another farm just next door that's non-monitored, which is just for raising stock for here in Oklahoma only that can just go to stocker ranches. 
And what we're going to do, uh, we're going to head on over to Chris's house where we'll wind up not focus on white-tailed deer. We're going to focus on the fallow deer over there because the fallow deer industry is, it's an inferno. It's so white hot. It's, it's unbelievable crazy. good. But uh, if somebody wants more information about Freedom Whitetails, what do they need to do? You can call me at 918-697-5389 or you could get a hold of Sean Horton. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you by MVP Whitetails, Dr. Ray Favero's Whitetail Genetics, UVC Power Sports Tractors and Outdoors, and Rafter P Construction. For more videos on deer farming, check out the Deer Farming Channel on YouTube and Facebook. All right, so now we're over at Chris's farm, and this is a place that I think has a lot of history, uh, not just in Oklahoma, but nationwide. There's a lot of important stuff has happened here over the last uh, 20 years. Uh, anybody who's a deer farmer sees this guy right here at just about every event, and we have had Chris on the show many, many times uh, telling us what's going on, and he is more familiar with the deer farming industry than just about anybody on the planet. And the cool thing about it is we're in Oklahoma. Oklahoma is one of the shining stars in the deer farming industry. And the reason why is a lack of regulation. And one big reason is right here. Okay, Chris has been extremely vocal. He's been extremely active at the legislature on the political level to be able to help things move along and uh, protect our freedoms here in Oklahoma. And so this farm used to be nothing but white-tailed deer. And, and I was here 15 years ago, okay? And we showed you some great big white-tails, biggest white-tails on earth right here on this farm. But now this farm has kind of transitioned and it's like, yeah, you got white tail, great white tails. And we'll show you some in a minute, but you've also got exotics. So tell everybody what you've got now. So yeah, we've raised white tail for, you know, over a decade and, and that is our, our first passion. But um, we've gotten into several different things here lately. The, uh, the biggest newest thing over the last four or five years is the CWD certified fallow herd. The Texas guys have really built some phenomenal genetics in the fallow industry. And we've been over the last five years building up a herd of animals that have certification that can go to all the states in the north. Um, there's about 12 or 13 that I know of states that require CWD certifications for animals to go across the state lines. And uh, we've been building on that program. So hold on, fallow deer do not get CWD, just so you know. They've never caught CWD, but they still have to go through this CWD program. So go ahead. That's correct. Um, so we, we did an embryo program here, um, partnered with Jason Milligan and Lance Clawson with Caveman. They send down embryos and semen and, and we put them in our certified animals so that we can make the best genetics fallow in the world that have a program set up specifically for them so that we can sell to anywhere in the United States. And success to that program, we're gonna show you a buck right now. And his name is Red Bull. Okay, tell everybody about Red Bull and why he's so special. Besides being a two-year-old that it's absolutely out of this world giant, tell them what's so special about Red Bull. So Red Bull is among the first embryo fallow offspring to ever be born in the world. Red Bull is out of the world record uh, Bullwinkle. And yeah. we did frozen embryos for the first time in the world here on this farm and had success. And he's one of the success stories out of that. <laughs> I'll tell you that right there. He is an unbelievable fallow deer. So besides Red Bull right there, you've got some other bucks. Tell me about them. So we actually have four two-year-olds in that pen. Um, one of them is a Game Changer son. One's a Lightning son. Oh, that's a, 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 a keeper yes, down sir. in Texas. Okay. Yes, sir. And we used all of those animals just because of their pedigrees last year as yearlings to cover our entire herd. So about three years ago, the fallow industry started uh, really taking off. Now, it is so good you cannot even believe it. And look at the smile. It's it's I mean, it's really, really good. And so, but the deal about it is, is there's some people think, well, it's already too late to get in. Uh, we're just starting to get into it, really. Uh, I thought that it would not last long myself also when we first started talking about it, but we've started up 10 or 15 new farms in multiple states. And I've had people call me from a lot of different states that didn't even realize they could own fallow until we've just kind of built up the market and got the CWD certified stuff going. This guy, sets people up with deer farms all over the country. I'll have people from North Carolina call me up. Hey, who kind of took call? Chris is out. I mean, there's a couple from Kansas came down this morning yeah. and actually uh, picked up a buck and taking it back to Kansas.
Hey Chrissy Zell and Brennan here with BRC. Uh, we are just darting a yearling buck. Brennan bought this buck at the top 30 last year off of us and he's going to use it for a breeder in Kansas on his deer farm. So he's come this morning to get it loaded up and take it back with him. <clears throat> We're starting our basically second year with the deer operation. It's been a, been a fast paced experience so far, starting from scratch. We're down here at Cougar Ridge buying a, uh, a breeder fallow buck. They'll go back to Kansas with us and bring a bunch of offspring to our place. So he is chief over a bullwinkle daughter. Chief's a, a solifé buck that throws a kind of a wide flared, clean look. And then bullwinkle, of course, is a known producer on the bottom. So the combination of those two, A, is rare. There's only a couple of them out there. And B, it, it should be a good cross. So as you can see, Chris is L, well, he hooks people up. I also have to mention that Chris is the president of an organization called Whitetails of Oklahoma. And they are, of course, based in Oklahoma, but their reach is nationwide. So if you want more information on Chris's farm, or you'd like to learn more about Whitetails of Oklahoma, direct your attention to the information provided on the screen. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you by Big Time Whitetails and Exotics. L.E. Fence, the Texas Deer Association, UVC Power Sports Tractors and Outdoors, and New Dart. Deer Wildlife Stories will be right back. Closed captioning is brought to you by Advanced Deer Genetics. All right, so we covered the fallow deer and tell everybody about your whitetails real quick. So this farm here, whitetail, we buy and sell from all over the country. Uh, as you know, I'm the owner of Whitetail Sales Auction Company. So a lot of my buyers and sellers uh, use my farm as an uh, in and out farm. So I have deer here that are owned by people in most every state in the United States. We do a lot of embryo flushing and taking embryos to different places. That's why we have so many different partners on the whitetails and so many different people that we do housing for. All right, so tell me about these two bucks. So the two bucks that we covered everything on this farm with on the whitetail side last year is Freeze Brand and Big Black. Freeze Brand is a nine-year-old buck. He was born and raised at the Bone Factory uh, in Ohio and came here a few years back. And he's my cover buck for all my high-end whitetail does. And then my new breeder buck is Big Black. He's a blackjack over Danger Hardcore Heather. Most of the people in the industry know that. It's just a big frame production line that I really like a lot, so we used him to cover with. All right, so besides Whitetail and Fallow, tell everybody else what kind of exotics you got. So here on this farm, we have the Nubian Ibex that I've been breeding for about six or eight years, just trying to get a real pure, uh, good product to be able to sell, and we finally reached the point where we're gonna sell some this year for the first time. Then we have the Axis herd that we've also been raising for about four or five years. We raise some uh, Gimsbach Simicar, but they're not on this farm. Okay. You couldn't do this alone. Tell everybody who your partner is on this and how she helped. So my, my wife, Jody, is the backbone, the, the bottle feeder, the, the record keeper, the paperwork, um, keeping track of me, she just pretty much keeps me in line in the whole farm. And we got video this morning of her uh, bottle feeding a newbie and Ibex, and then this morning, Mary and Jody were in bottle feeding the whitetails. Mm -hmm. Okay. But Jody's carrying around what in her little pouch? Tell everybody. She's, uh, that's my wife's little pet is kangaroos. We raised a couple kangaroos and that's kind of her toy. We we raised the, the adult female and had her in the house, um, was raised up for a couple years and then now she's had a baby. So now the baby's in the house and we take it everywhere with it. Everywhere. I mean, so if you wind up uh, and a kangaroo is a great uh, thing to get all the attention to everybody in the room. So they walk in the room that the kangaroo, they, people want to talk to him, but they want to go talk to Jody. Everybody wants to see the kangaroo. So if somebody is interested in getting started in the whitetail or the fallow or any of the exotic animal world, if they're interested, could they give you a call? Absolutely. And you'd be willing to help. You bet. Okay, and if you go to any sales that has anything to do with whitetail or fallow, look for that guy, because you'll see him there, guaranteed. 
All right, when we get back from the break, we're going to head east to here to Son's place, and we'll show you what he has. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you by Record Rack Deer and Elk Feeds, the North American Deer Registry, New Dart, CC Bar Whitetails, and the North American Deer Farmers Association. Now for some great information on fencing from our friends at LE Fence. Hey guys, it's Ron with LE Fence here, standing in front of one of our big water gaps that we built down here in South Texas. Essentially, you wanna build this anytime you've got a water source coming through your property. You wanna have this because you wanna keep animals in your property in, or animals from coming into your property out. So in order to do that, you gotta build a nice support structure, keep your braces out of your main source of water flow, and then you wanna go ahead and build your top rail for your water to, or your gate to hinge off of for your water to flow, about a foot to two feet over that. This is so that when we get a four to 11 inch rain, gonna have a lot of water and a lot of debris rushing through here at a very quick pace. If you don't have something that can handle and tolerate that, you're gonna lose your fence line. Then you're gonna lose any animals you got in there, and that's not what we want. So here at LA Fence, we specialize in making water gaps. It's one of the favorite things we get to do. Uh, we encounter a lot of fun challenges with it, and with that, we've got many years of experience doing this. So please give us a call. Information's at the bottom of the page. Look forward to hearing from you guys. All right, so this is Dallas Russell. We're over in Oklahoma still, but right on the Arkansas border. I mean, yes. How far off? So we are probably from the border. We're right at 20 minutes. Okay, so we're real close to the border. And Dallas lives in Arkansas, but his family owns G3 Whitetails over here in Oklahoma. Tell them why you bought a place in Oklahoma and not in Arkansas. Well, so actually in Arkansas, uh, it is illegal to have high fence on your, your property. We were not able to put together an operation just due to legality in Arkansas. And see, I think that's important is over the years, I've had tons of people from Arkansas contact me and say, you know, I'd love to do this in Arkansas. Well, it's not even legal in Arkansas. No. But in Oklahoma, Oklahoma is probably one of the best states in the country, as you've heard me say over and over on this show so far. I mean, it is, it's an incredible place. And so deer, you've got some really nice deer. Yeah. And so uh, tell everybody why you got started in the deer farming business. Well, we just really love whitetail deer farming. I personally love uh, the exotic side as well, but we just wanted a place to be able to come and have whitetail at. And you know, they've got some beautiful whitetails. You go and take a look at the pens. And the thing, when they bought this place, the pens were already built, right? Correct. And they, so the pens were built, and, and Chris Azell has been a lifesaver. I mean, uh, you know, man, and, and his son Dakota yep. is, it helps you out every single day. Yep. And these are, I want to point these deer that he's got have got great genetics, but these are basically stalker animals. Yes. Okay. Correct. And in Oklahoma, if you're a deer breeder, I want to tell you, in Oklahoma, I've never seen a place like this before. No matter what kind of stalker buck you grow, yeah. there's a market for it. Yep. That's pretty amazing because in some states, it's like they have difficulty getting rid of stalkers. Not in Oklahoma. <laughs> I mean, Oklahoma, there's such nope. a shortage. Yep. And so, you know, very modest. These deer right here, there are homes for every single deer. And he could sell every deer out with one phone call. Boom, be gone. Probably could. Okay. But what happens is he's got more than just white-tailed deer. He's got exotics. He, he has a, a big, beautiful, spacious preserve. And tell everybody about the exotics you've got on it. So we have um, everything from your trophy fallow, same size you'll find in South Texas. We've got axis. We've got trophy all dad. Your normal Corsican triple curl rams. I've got your Texas doll sheep. I've got your Elands. Also have some black buck out there. Have some red stag out there. Usually have some elk depending on the time of year. I also have some Sika. So quite a variety of things out there. <laughs> you got yeah, I, I got I got to think about it when you ask me that question. <laughs> and so and so the deal is the the preserve is absolutely huge. It's and it's beautifully wooded and it's gorgeous. Right now it's the last week of July and it's hot out there but the animals are thriving and you may be wondering stalkers. Let's talk about stalkers. What happens to them? Well, people wind up, whether it's white-tailed deer or whether it's odd or anything else, they need to have genetic diversity at some point when you have 
what I call a nature agri-park, a place that's closed in, whether it's 500 acres or 5,000 acres. You need to have right. genetic diversity. And so it's, right. it's these farms that we're farming animals on that we can bring these genetics in. The genetics are great genetics. We bring them in and they improve the genetics on that nature agri-park, which wind up at some point, then yes, their animals are gonna be hunted. But how else are you gonna improve, improve genetics? I mean, think about that. On our end, just improving the genetics is, you know, bringing in the variety, having the right tested deer. Again, Chris is a lifesaver when it comes to the whitetail genetic part. He's a mentor for people. He is a mentor, and I will have to say, between him, Dakota Zell, as well as our uh, ranch manager, which is Chris's son, uh, between the two of them, they've they've really turned our whitetail operation into something I think is a little special. Yeah. So. And, and I want to point something out. I asked Dallas a little while ago about uh, where a lot of his customers came from, and they, they come from Arkansas. Okay, the, there's such a demand in Arkansas that is not being met. Right. I mean, and that's what's there a shame. Is. I mean, it really is a shame it is. that it's not being met that they have to come to Oklahoma. It's good for Oklahoma. Good yep. for you. Great, great for us. Okay. Yeah. It, it's fantastic. And yep. yes, they do hunting here on the G3 Whitetail Ranch. And if you want more information, you can contact Dallas at what number? Uh, 479 544-2281. Appreciate y'all watching folks. If you got any questions or comments, if you want to contact anybody that has been featured on the show, we'll have a direct link off of our website over their website. If you've got any questions or comments and you're watching online, just leave them below and we'll uh, get back with you. If if you do mention Keith Warren, uh, while you do call us, we will be honoring a 5% discount on any of our animals. No, oh, nice. So That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Give yeah. Dallas a call. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. I appreciate it. Appreciate y'all. See you next week. Okay, so you've got property and you're wanting to build. Maybe a barn dominium, maybe deer facilities, or maybe a badass lodge. Well, you've got to check out Rafter P Construction. Rafter P Construction is the leading design build contractor across the state of Texas. Specializing in quality farm and ranch design build projects, Rafter P Construction encourages their customers to be very hands on incorporating your input into every aspect of your project with their in-house design teams. The goal of Rafter P Construction is to be your builder for life. Rafter P Construction, they'll be with you every step of the way to build your dream project. All the while, keeping quality and customer satisfaction at the forefront.